pick up any hitchhikers. Learn what they look like. I mean, they could be clinging to the outside of your vehicle without you even knowing it. And if you unwittingly transport one of these hitchhikers, it could threaten your state's agriculture, natural resources, and cause a devastating economic impact. What am I talking about? The invasive spotted lanternfly. Here's a little history. The spotted lanternfly was first discovered in Pennsylvania in 2014, believed to have hitched a ride on a shipment of landscaping stones from its native origins in Asia. In July of 2021, the insect was found as far west as Indiana. Then just a few months later in September at the Kansas State Fair, a 4-H student inadvertently triggered a state and federal investigation when their entomology project displayed a spotted lanternfly. So here's the thing. This invasive insect is a plant hopper, which means it can only walk, jump, or fly about three or four miles on its own. So how is it that it has traveled across the United States in such a short amount of time? Well, they have been hitching a ride, mostly in the form of egg masses on vehicles, camping equipment, products delivered for landscaping, and other countless ways. So here is what you can do to help stop the spread. It's important to be aware and stay updated on infested quarantine areas before you travel. How do you do that? Check the Department of Agriculture website for the state or states you'll be visiting and do a search for spotted lanternflies. This map shows the confirmed spotted lanternfly location. One of these locations is less than 50 miles from Pernal Preserve. Now take a look at this map, which shows areas where the habitat is suitable for the spotted lanternfly. It doesn't mean that they're present in these areas, but they could become established if introduced. To help stop the spread, you'll need to be able to identify all stages of the spotted lanternfly's life cycle. And since egg masses are most commonly moved from one area to another and can be found on almost any outdoor surface, we'll start there. Look for egg masses anytime starting, depending on your location, October through June. They'll look like grayish splotches of mud or cement. You want to look on any flat surface, especially tree bark, but they could be on your car, landscaping material, lawn furniture, grills, or any flat surface. Recognizing and destroying the egg masses is perhaps one of the most effective ways in controlling the spread of the spotted lanternfly. Why? because it's much easier to kill the eggs than the 50 or more insects that will emerge from them and then disperse. If you find eggs, it's best to scrape them off with something like an old credit card and then submerge the eggs in hand sanitizers or rubbing alcohol to kill them. The next four stages are called nymphs. Nymphs will hatch out of the eggs sometime around May and June. At this stage, they're unable to fly and will be seen mostly crawling up and down trees. When they first hatch, they are just a few millimeters in length, and they grow to be about a quarter of an inch long. The early stage nymphs have black bodies and legs and are covered in bright white spots and are about the size of a pencil eraser. Then there's this radical change. Late stage nymphs found sometime around July through September are bright red with distinct patches of black and bright white spots. The final and most recognizable stage is the adult spotted lanternfly which is typically seen from July through December. Adults are about one inch long and have gray wings with black spots. And when the spotted lanternfly opens its wings, it reveals a bright red underwing. All the adults are killed off with the first hard freeze and it's only the eggs that survive through the winter. Then the cycle starts all over again. If you see any stage of the spotted lanternfly, it's a good idea to snap a picture of it for positive identification. Then contact your state Department of Agriculture, Department of Natural Resources to report them and help stop the spread. Please share this video. The more we can spread awareness about this insect, the better chances we'll have at managing it and its devastating effects. Well, I hope this has inspired you to be curious, explore, and report spotted lanternflies when seen outdoors help stop the spread. Thanks for watching.